Hey guys, Molly here, and today I'm going to show you a solo barbarian farming route that gets up to 2.5 billion plus per hour on Torment 6. Now, what you have to do for this is first, uh, you only need to do this once, but first you have to go to um, the quest uh, 6 in Act 1, talk to Alaric, and then you start the game. You could also do this on the lower Torment just to get to the place. Um, the place itself doesn't require that much gear, but you need to have a certain level of gear, but more on that later. So you choose that quest. Game loads and let's, I'm using my standard build here for trash farming. Go to Drown Temple. You can see I can sprint here already, it's perfectly fine. I can also charge to him so it's faster. Accept the quest. And then the goal is to go to the Crypt of the Ancients. And the Crypt of the Ancients is always in the, uh, in the festering woods in the east. So you always have to go to the east and find the dungeon. And then you're pretty much set, because then every time you enter the dungeon and leave the game, you're gonna be there. So I'm just heading there right now, getting some Fury with Furious Charge. Just ignore the monsters, it's like just to get to the point. And there we go. Crypt of the Angels. Once you're in here, you can just leave the game. Well, let's go back to town first. Because now I got the checkpoint, so you can leave the game and every game will spawn here. And the run pretty much just clears the trash of the Crypt of the Ancients and then you leave the game, reset and do it again. And with the 50% community um, bonus experience buff, like this actually reaches insane numbers of experience. And another advantage of this is that in the uh, cave, like there's so many pools of reflection, there are new pools that increase your bonus experience by 25%, so you will, you will never run out of those unless you're really low level, because then they don't give you a lot of experience, but if you're high level, high paragon level then you will always have them permanently up and let's do it let's do a quick test here so right now i have 355 million xp i'm gonna run this for a few minutes just to show you how it goes and also calculate the experience per hour all right so the run just goes you have furious charge for fury then you pop up the Zerg slaughter and then just rend everything try that you don't run out of fury you can always pick up the shrines Charge again, then you see my fury is full again. Still have the circle, so everything dies fast. Then I finish the loop here. And now just go out. And I started at 355. And now I'm at 391. So this run was 35 million experience in 40 seconds. Like one of those runs takes usually one minute and if you multiply it times 60, you, I'm almost at 2 billion per hour, and that wasn't even a good run. So if I keep doing this, I'm probably gonna go up to like 2.2, 2.3, and the best I've reached in one hour was 2.5. But that was pretty lucky. Propel Rage, charge into Fury, and then just start sprint with Rough Sir. Should kill all the monsters here. That's been a pretty bad round, so I'm gonna check down there. Probably a lot of mobs, yeah. Another experience shrine. And it's an action shrine, but it doesn't matter. And yeah. I'm gonna do one or two more runs of this, but you can already see the experience by moving pretty quickly. And Leah is protecting you, so you can always leave the game. Thanks, Leah. And right now I'm at 1 minute 40 seconds. So, yeah, I'm even faster than 1 minute per run. And every run gives at least 30 million XP. So like even at minimum with my gear and my farming speed, this is 1.8 billion per hour. And that's sick because that's like at least one or two levels. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here, pop rough the circ. I'm a bit low on fury now, which is bad. But it should be fine. Yeah, and then when the fuse charges up again, you get full fury and then you can pretty much whirlwind and rend infinity. Gonna charge out here, get some last fury, kill some last mobs. And I'm gonna take a look at the experience again. So I started with 355, I got 100 million experience in 2 minutes 20 seconds. Gonna do one last run now, and then I'll calculate the final results. Now this might not be the most interesting way to farm, but it's so efficient that it's actually worth it. And I, I can do this for like some hours a day, but I make sure that I'm really efficient and then do other stuff as well. And the thing is, as a barb, 
Um, the barb is right now not so strong, so this is a really good way where the barb can like farm just as much experience as any other class. And that's what I really like about the run. Actually, I haven't seen a pool of reflection yet, so I really want to see one because yeah, normally, normally there's a lot of pools here. But sometimes it's healing well like right now, and then you don't get a pool of reflection. So I'm actually gonna do one more run. Just to see if I can get more lucky in finding a pool. Alright, now I'm at 325, 25, 125 million in 3 minutes, 30. I mean, 100 million XP, like if you normally play the game, this could be like what you get in one hour. But I just got here in a few minutes. And yeah, um, what I need to do is I need to test it with like budget gear. Budget gear and lower torment, but I think even with, if you have bad gear, you can still try torment 5 or torment 6 and be very efficient here. But this run doesn't re require a lot of gear because you have rough circle all the time. So you don't care that much about the elite affixes and you don't need to kill elite. So that's why this is really... Um, here doesn't really matter that much for you with this run here and there you can see there's the pool of reflection see you just ask for it and there it comes that's what i said like you can always keep this up here so the experience per hour needs to be calculated with the pool because the pool is part of this run like if you farm somewhere else you might not be able to like keep up a permanent pool of reflection all right that's my shit and you see i almost got my level here in this short time i went from like here to here all right but so we had four minutes 20 seconds let's calculate this 517 minus 355, which is my starting experience, times 4 minutes 20 seconds are 260 seconds, are divided by 260, and then times 3600 seconds per hour. I'm here farming at a speed of 2.25 billion XP per hour. And that's pretty chill, like nothing can wrong here, it's pretty constant, and you know with my level, I need 600 million XP per level, so I can get at least 3 levels. I can go from 288 to 291, just 1 hour of doing this. And yeah, um, I want to recommend it as well. You don't have to farm this for like 10 hours a day. I can't do that, maybe you can, but I can't. I want to mix up with something else, like sometimes go group farming. But you know, when no one of my teammates is on there and I just want to get some quick experience, then this is run is my current number one choice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you do well in the run and see you guys tomorrow. I'll be back.